hello to you all. As you can see, my Telecaster here is losing an E string, and to be honest, all the other strings are silly old. So I want to take you on a journey of a wonderful restringing guitar. So with the Telecaster, this is very easy because you have the holes in the back, and the only thing you have to do is put the new strings through the hole and tune them. But at first, we need to, let's say, de-string the old fucking strings. So they have to row, 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 row. Put them out. And then, as you can see, you can just put them out here. Yeah. It's very easy on a telecast. Much more difficult on a fine rose guitar. But with this guitar, we can make it quite fast. Disgusting stuff. more time with the higher strings because they are a lot more over the string, I don't know what's the name of this string here. So, now all the strings are removed. Now the strings are gone, the old strings, but before I put on the new strings, I always recommend taking a bit of care of the fretboard. I'm doing this with this. This is lemon oil. This is from Dunlop. You can. I don't care. From anywhere. And what I do, I put the lemon oil on the fretboard. It says, don't push. Just to rub it softly. So I rub it on the fretboard, on every fret. Then, when I'm done with the whole fretboard, I let it rest for some minutes and then I rub it in with a piece of texture. And this process you can do like two, three, four times. I often do two times. Yeah. The lemon oil have now enough time to work its way into the wood and now we can do the actual restring I'm using today Bernie Ball 52 on 10 so I have six strings in the lower and ten strings in the higher region so I don't know how other people do it but I tend to make the lowest strings first the E string which would be in this case my 52 millimeter string and like I said at the beginning you just have to put it through the hole in the back every string got its own hole then it comes out here then I'm firstly like stretching it a bit stretching is always good with new strings and what I do I try to put the holes in line put it in and what I do next when it, the string is in here I stretch it 
And while I stretch it, I put my finger on the thread just to hold it in this stretch. And then I give it a first little tune. It works. And there I leave it. So then, next I always tend to put in the lowest. But I think you can do as you please. You can do from low to high or from high to low. I don't know if this makes any difference. But I like to do it like this. First the lowest, then the highest string, and the second lowest, second highest, and so on. So, the thing with the Telecaster you have to take care about is that for the uh, E, B and G string you have this little thing here where you have to span the string in. And like before, I'm stretching the string, put my finger on and then give it to you. It takes longer with the higher strings. And on and on and on. So, and because of the fact that I'm holding my finger on the string, I feel when the tension is coming. So, this is enough for now. And so I go on and on with the shit. So, next would be the 42 millimeter A string. And I again. Put it through its hole, then it comes out here. You see, with an intelligence, this is really going very fast. Put it in, give it a stretch, put my finger on, and tune it a little bit. And when I feel the tension rising, I'll leave it there and take the next string, which would be the 30 millimeter string, the B string. Put it through its fucking hole. There it is, the little fucker. Then I put it in here. I'm sorry, I don't know the instruments for all these little things here. You can tell me in the comments what's the name in English. So give it a little tune. Like I said before, this takes more time on the higher strings than with the low strings. Now I feel tension and I leave it. Then I have the 30 millimeter D string. A very important string. Now let's push it. Every string is important. Put it through its hole. Put it in here. Give it a little stretch. Through the hole. Give it a little stretch again. And wait until the tension is coming. There we have the tension. All right. And then we have the last string, which would be the, what is it, 17 millimeter um, G string. Haha, <laughs> G string. So, put it in the hole. Give it a little stretch. Take care that it comes under the string here and tune it until I feel enough tension. So. And so every string is on. The next thing I have to do is, of course, tune the strings. And for this, I got a chromatic tuner pedal here, and with this I will now 
spoon. All right, the teaspoon was correct in here. I'm now doing the ice cream. There we are. The D string mix. So as higher as you get with the strings, you have to tune more. That's my experience. G string. Okay, this was fast for G string. Now the B string. And at the beginning, it's normal that the strings very fastly detune. So you have to uh, like tune them a couple of times before they stay in tune. That's quite normal. But what I do here, I give them first direction tune and when this is done always a fight with the history <laughs> okay so I check it again so they went down a bit So, now they are quite where they should be. And what I do now, you don't have to do this, but I use a metal cutter and I take off all the shit here that is uh, left from the strings. And I cut it off. So you don't have to do this. You can make it like a Pomorello. Just let them uh, stay in the air or you can like curve them around but I prefer just cutting them and of course then I need another tuning but now you can give it another tune and then we are ready and we can look how they sound. So the E string nearly stayed in tune. sound. Always love the sound of new strings. And that's it. A complete restringing of Intelligencer. Thanks for watching.